Okay, uh, time for a quick review on linear programming. Uh, the hardest part about linear programming is just graphing. Uh, as you can see, I've got a system of inequalities, and uh, I've got some of them color coded. <coughs> I'm going to use blue and green for my lines that are actually not my axes. Uh, I want to go ahead and point out that these two. Uh, these two lines are actually going to be on my axis. Where y is actually zero is my x-axis. Okay, so that's already drawn for me. Uh, where x is zero is my y-axis. So that is already drawn for me as well. Now all I need to pay attention to is where y is greater than or equal to zero. Okay, so on <coughs> my x-axis, all right, where y is greater than or equal to zero is above it. Okay, so I'm just going to shade above my x-axis. So I know that uh, when I'm shading, I'm going to go up. Where x is greater than or equal to zero is going to be to the right of the y-axis. Okay, so I'm going to go that direction. And I'm just making myself a little note right now so that I know when I get to the shading part, I know which way to go. All right, let's go ahead and graph the blue one, which is y is less than or equal to x plus 1. And whenever we have less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, we're going to have a solid line, because that line is going to be included. So all I need are a couple of points. So my y-intercept is actually going to be at positive 1. So I know that point is going to be on my line. And if I use x is 1, I plug that in, I'm going to get y is 2. So you see I've already got a couple of points, and I can draw a line. There we go. All right, so that's one of my inequalities already graphed. Okay, it's going to be a solid line. And then the second one is just less than. So that means I'm going to have a dotted line this time. But I still need to know where it's going to go. Well, my y-intercept is 4. Because if x is 0, then the value of y just becomes 4. So I have a point here. Now if I plug in 1 again, I get negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Plus 4 is going to give me positive 2. That point is actually shared with that blue line. Since I already have two points, I can go ahead and draw this line. And notice I left it dotted. That way I know that it is only going to be less than, it's not equal to there. Now, which way do I shade? That's another, that's another tricky part when it comes to linear program. What you have to do is pick a test point. Okay, for both of these, you'll notice that the origin, 0, 0, is not on either line. So if I use that point, it's very easy to plug in. So I'm going to say 0 is less than or equal to 0 plus 1. If that is a valid statement, which it is, then I'm going to shade toward that point. So uh, 0 is less than or equal to 0 plus 1. So on my blue line, just here, I'm going to shade toward the origin. So I'm going to shade this way. Okay. Now, with my green line, okay, I'm going to do the same thing. Because here's my green line and the origin is still here. So 0 is that less than uh, negative 2 times 0, which is 0, plus 4. And it is. Because 0 is less than 4. So, from my green line, I'm going to shade this direction.
Now, as you can see, I'm starting to get some overlap right here. All right, but don't forget, we also have our axes to deal with. So in red, I'm going to shade up from my x-axis, and I'm just going to leave it in this region that's already overlapped. And now I shade to the right of the y-axis. So I'm going to end up shading completely in this little region. Okay, so I know it's getting hard to see, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase all the areas that are not completely overlapped so that we can see them a little bit. Okay, then all this will go away as well. All right. So all we need is this little shaded region here. Now what that represents is our solution set. All points in that region will fit all of those inequalities at the same time. Okay, so anywhere in here, including the vertices, all right, will fit there. All right? So that's all we're looking for with linear programming. Um, in the second unit, or the second part of this uh, this unit, uh, you would use the vertices to plug into uh, the objective function, which is used to maximize or minimize things like profit or cost or whatever. And uh, then those things would become uh, extremely useful. Here, this is all we're trying to do. Okay, like I said, the hard part with what we were doing uh, is just graphing, finding the test point, and uh, knowing where to shade. So hopefully that helps clear some of that up, uh, and hopefully this helps illustrate where our shaded region is going to be. That's our feasible region, and uh, if you have any more questions, please let me know.